Welcome to room number one at the Altonside Guest House, Fort William, Scotland. We start with a quick look at the outside of the guest house. And we move into the reception hallway. And as you can see, it, it's quite a homely hallway. There's the desk there where the host greets you and uh, does the necessary paperwork before showing you to the room. Um, but the hallway is, is nicely decorated, it's got some nice pictures, um, particularly train pictures I noticed uh, around sort of Scotland. Here we have the dining room which is where they serve breakfast. Uh, but also on an evening you can sit in there, watch television, meet with some of the other guests. Finally into room number one. And as you can see, it's a fair sized uh, room. Uh, this is the first B&B &B that I've actually been in. Uh, so I was quite surprised with the, the actual size of the room overall very pleasant. I mean there's teas and coffees there, there were plenty of teas and coffees. Obviously we've spent a night here already uh, so we've used some of them but there were plenty in there. Um, so now we come to the bathroom. Again the bathroom is quite a good size. Um, I suppose it's just a surprise I've got with my first B&B &B, but obviously uh, you've got a nice shower um, it was a good shower, it worked well, uh, plenty of power there, um, yeah, good shower. And then you have a small sink and of course a toilet, which, yeah, just, <laughs> just the things you would expect to see in a bathroom. Um, but again, a, you know, a decent size one for, for an ensuite just off uh, a bedroom in a bungalow. Back into the main room and of course there is a good size bed. Um, it was a nice size bed, um, a little table underneath. What I had to say was a very small television. A um, little disappointing but you're not there for the television I suppose. Um, but it was quite a small one. Just after the television there was a small cupboard which was quite a nice surprise and I thought just showed the sort of personal touch that perhaps you find in, in bed and breakfast uh, accommodations. So you've got a, a, an area you can hang your clothes but also they've put other things in there like there was a fan for obviously when it's hot, there was an extra heater for when it was colder, uh, there was also somewhere you could put your case and really a nice little space that you could put things um, should you need to just keep them out of the way of the house. So that was actually a nice useful space um, in, in that bedroom area. And looking at the view from the room, you can see straight out into Loch, now I think we call it E-I-L, so Loch Eel. Um, but it was quite a spectacular view. I mean, it, it was beautiful. It's uh, early in the morning at this point, and so the sun hasn't properly risen. Uh, but you can see that the view, which stretched um, to the right up towards Fort William, to the left just for miles and miles. Uh, but when the sun shone, it was really lovely. And I have to admit that this uh, was a great view, and we spent a lot of time sat, uh, just looking out um, and there's a few boats going past and uh, a few other water things happening so that was nice there were birds uh, birds of prey flying by that was nice you know it was it sort of made up for the fact there was a small tv because we didn't watch the tv and we, we are ones that like to uh, just watch tv on a night instead because of the light nights we actually spent the time looking out and just watching uh, that view which uh, which really made it for us it really made the uh, the accommodation um, a much nicer place back into the room so uh, just a quick look round and 
as you can see, as I said, it's a, it's a nice room. It's a good size room, obviously for two people. Um, it's a good size bed. Uh, the facilities. So the facilities were again. It's my first B and B, and the rip this B and B was eighty five pound, obviously including breakfast. Uh, the breakfast was good. It was a um, obviously cereal, fruit, and then a full cooked option, uh, which was really nice. Uh, and well cooked as well, so uh, it was a, a pleasant breakfast. So £85, um, comparable with the area, obviously. Um, I mean, it was um, a bit cheaper than some of the other guest houses that were available, but this was in July, so you get approaching sort of peak holiday season. For the facilities, though, of the room, uh, the internet, the Wi-Fi was excellent. And I'll just pop in at this point um, the broadband speed checker um, that I did. And as you can see from the uh, speed there, you know, 23 meg uh, and, and a good upload speed as well, uh, you've got a really good Wi-Fi uh, connection. I mean, obviously, I did test it out. I didn't particularly watch much, but I tried some YouTube videos. I tried Netflix uh, just to see if it all streamed OK, and it was all absolutely perfect. Um, so, yeah, it was good Wi-Fi, uh, which to me is always important. Um, so really, the room in all, yeah, rating, <laughs> my first B&B, &B, as I've, I'll say again, um, and what can I say, I think you really have to go for a good sort of 9 out of 10, it's in a good location, uh, it's a great room, the host was very, very nice, you know, and there's nothing they can, you know, they couldn't do for you to, to try and make you stay better, so, um, yeah, a, mo a really, really nice place to stay. And would I stay again? Yeah, absolutely. I I if I was in that area, uh, I would happily uh, use that property again. Anyway, this has been uh, room number one uh, of the Alton Side Guest House in Fort William. Uh, thank you very much for watching. And please, if you... Um, check it back to the channel. You shall see lots more hotels around Scotland uh, and obviously uh, around the other parts of the UK and abroad. Thanks for watching.